Hello and welcome back. It's Monty. I wanted to share with you a couple things I've been working on the last couple days. I haven't had a ton of time to do anything, but I did work on a few things. These took me a couple days. I did little steps and I like to secure everything before, you know, in between each layer so that it's nice and sturdy. But anyway, I use the um, uh, cauldron shaker die that I got from Scrap Diva. Um, so I made cute little shakers, and um, then and this these have um, it's vellum over it, and so there's a pattern paper back there, but you can barely see it because of the vellum. And I used uh, micro beads, gold micro beads. It's the only color I have, so that's what color I had to use. But anyway, um, then I um, used a uh, spider rub die that I had. Can't remember where that's from. I think it's an old one, but I'm not positive. But anyway, cut that out of um, some silver holographic foil stuff. And then I cut the word boo um, out of a die that I got from, oh, this is the one I got from, it's a Tonic Studio die, and I got it in, um, uh, from Jersey Secret Stash. Um, she had a uh, Instagram sale a couple weeks ago, and I grabbed that. So I cut that out of foam, so it's real thick, and then I layered it up out of the um, glitter paper right there. And then I used this hat. I had a hat shaker die, and I didn't make a shaker, but I did uh, layer it and outline it and stuff. So it's in uh, pink glitter and the same green glitter. So I think that turned out really cute. And then I cut out the um, bubbles from the cauldron in the green glitter paper also and then um, I didn't cut my uh, cauldron out of foam I just layered up I cut I think four sh four pieces of 110 pound cardstock behind this just to give it enough it's not real thick so I couldn't I couldn't have put very thick pieces in my sequin mix but I thought that was plenty and so I just sometimes have a hard time when I even When I cut out of foam, it seems like a lot of times it stretches, or it stretches like when you're trying to put it back in place and shape it. And and I even do, you know, they say don't run it through both directions, just run it through once and stop. Um, I do that, and it still sometimes I feel like I get, you know, out of shape. But um, so I didn't want to do that. I wanted it, uh, so I just did it out of the paper, which is what I usually do. So that's how that came out. Okay, and then you, I don't know if you could see this bat. This bat is kind of suspended. So I cut this bat. I think it's the same set from that spider web. Um, anyway, the bat is attached. You can tell. So I attached it to a piece of acetate. And then just attached it to the back of the cauldron. So it looks like the bat is flying around up, you know, coming out of the cauldron or just kind of flying around the background so I really like that look so that's what I did so I did a couple of that one and then I did this one so same thing except for um, I use purple as the as the other color instead of the green and so everything's the same other than I use this uh, skull from Scrap Diva also um, so I use that and then the bow that came with it and layered it up in different the two different colors. Again, suspended the bat above um, the cauldron. So I made a couple of those. I thought those turned out so cute. I love them. So I need to um, make some more embellishments to go with them, just, just for fun. Um, and then I also want to show you, um, I made my own uh, pattern paper, which I've done tons of time in the past. I just haven't done it forever. Um, and I used the um, Scrap Diva Designs um, her stamp set and it has this little die uh, let's see where are the dies I think they're right here beside me because I was using them it came with it comes with this little um, scallop circle it's actually a tag die so there's that and then there's let's see then there's the other piece so you can layer it up here it is over here <laughs> I got dies all over the place so these two come with the stamp set, so you can um, stamp 
your um, your sentiment and then um, cut it out and layer it up with these two dice. So really fun set. Um, I just used it on a swap that I was in. So anyway, um, but I love the stamps. I hadn't bought a stamp set forever because um, I have a ton and I hadn't been using my stamps. I used to do way more stamping than die cutting and now I've really gotten to where I like die cutting better and so I haven't stamped as much but I really loved all the sayings on this and so that's why I got them and that they were little small sayings um, and that would fit right in the tag you could attach the tag you know to your project so I love this set so anyway I got this set and so I made some um, pattern paper so I just took a plain white sheet of 110 pound cardstock and then I took a um, like one of the sayings um, I took beware so I used beware eek and spooky I think that's all yeah okay so what I did was just take the take the um, the, the stamp put it on my acrylic block and then I use um, Versamark ink okay and then so I take the stamp and I stamp it all over how I want it and when you're doing a paper like this you don't want to just let go um, you know have it let go like all in a line and all straight it looks so much more natural if you um, you know go turn your stamp go all different directions upside down or turn your paper however you want to do it so that you get all different directions of the word okay and then also or whatever image you're using okay and then also you're going to want to like stamp it to where it goes off the page certain spots you know upside down um, to the side you know that makes it look totally random like it's an actual printed piece of pattern paper okay oh I forgot to tell you so I use those three words and then I also use this the circle right here I stamp that in a holographic. Let me see if I can get it to catch the light so you can see it. I don't know if you've seen it yet when I've been showing this, but there's holographic circles. Oh, kind of seen it flash there for a second. Um, I don't know if I'm getting it. There. See them? See those circles? So cute. Okay, so I used that one. And then also, I also forgot to mention, I used a tiny little spider web that was part of it, a little tiny stamp set that I had from years ago. And so I used that, and I stamped that in black. Okay, so all the rest of these, I took one word at a time. So I took spooky, and I stamped it all random, kind of spread it out all over the paper in the Versamark ink. And then I decided what color I wanted to do it. So spooky, I did the purple. Well, like lilac so I used I um, once I stamped it I stamped all those words that same word all over the whole paper and then I took my um, heat embossed uh, embossing powder in this color it's called this is from this is stamp and stuff brand uh, from stampendous lilac pastel love it okay so then um, then I just take my I put this over like another piece of paper and I just take my bottle, I pretty much empty the whole bottle out and I just spray it, I just pour it like this over the whole area so that um, it coats all the words and just kind of look and make sure you have it all coated and then I kind of just tip it and you know kind of tap it off of the back just to tap off any extra um, and before I did this I also took my um, powder tool and I kind of just powdered over the whole thing to kind of help things not to stick so much and then if I did have areas where um, a bunch of powder like stuck for some reason then I just take my my paintbrush and I just kind of just go in between areas and just like that and tap it off okay um, so I did all the purples in the one word and then I switched out my stamp and I did eek in the um, in this color so I did the same thing I just stamped it all different direction turn it upside down stamped it off the page um, that kind of thing and then I used this one this is a Zing powder, and it's called uh, this one is called. I'm not 
sure that might be it right there, but I can't tell what that says. Might just be called powder, actually. I think that's the name of the color is powder. Okay, so then I sprinkled. Okay, so before I did the next cut thing, I took my heat gun, of course, and heated up all the spooky words till all the spooky um, embossing powders changed. I was getting ahead of myself there, sorry. So I did all those. Okay, and then I did <coughs> all the eek words, and then and then uh, you know sprayed the poured the powder on, and then um, heated them all up got them all to, to turn, okay, and then I did the other word, which was beware, so stamped them in my Versafine, or Versamark ink, stamped it all over the page, and then I took, this one is a, it's called Pink Prisma from Hero Arts, it's in this kind of thing because it was uh, one that I received um, when I was part of um, the My Monthly Hero stamp kit. Um, subscription so this was something that I received from that and that's why it's just in this container but it's really pretty so I used that one for the word beware did the same thing I stamped it all put all the powder over the whole thing because once you get these other ones other colors dry it's not going to stick to them so just make sure you have them all turned you know heated up before you go on to your next color because then once you go on to your next color and you pour it over these words it won't stick because it's already turned okay um, so then I poured the pink and then I heated them all up and that was done. Okay, and then next I did the circle in the holographic. I stamped it all over and then I just used this powder from Ranger and this is called holographic. So again, after I stamped it off, I just put it over the whole paper, just ran it all down, tapped it off, and then heated it, about, heated it up until it turned. Okay, and then lastly, I took that tiny little spider web that I said came from another step and I just stamped that in regular black. So I could have stamped it in clear and used black embossing powder or um, I could have stamped it in black and then poured um, clear embossing powder over that so it would make it kind of shine but I just decided to go with just the flat black. So and I just put some random ones over there and you can see there's different spots where it's off the page sometimes it's just a barely little piece showing. Okay. That's what gives it the natural look like it's actually a printed page, okay? So, and then you just heat, heat it up in between each one and turn it and you could do as many things as you want. And this works really well, especially with smaller images. Um, but I didn't have any um, pastel uh, uh, Halloween stuff that I, I wanted to use. so. Um, that's why I decided just to go ahead and make my own. I could have used a colored paper background, um, but I wanted the white. So, but I could have chose any other color and just stamped like that. And you, this, the possibilities are endless with these, with stamp sets, with all the different colors of embossing powders. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, guys. <coughs> oh my, sorry. <coughs> now it's gonna. Oh, make me sneeze. <coughs> oh my gosh. Sorry for that, guys. I got, my throat got dry and made me cough, and then it, uh, a lot of times I do that when it turns from a cough, it goes that I immediately start sneezing afterwards. Okay. So anyway, just want to share that with you. Um, if you're interested in a tutorial on this, on how to do this, I'd be happy to show you guys. Um, just let me know. I just, you know, I never know if anybody's interested in certain things or not. A lot of times I figure since I know it that everybody else knows it, you know, so I forget that there's beginners and people who haven't done stamping and just different stuff. So yeah, let me know in the comments below if you like this, what you thought, if you'd like to see a tutorial, let me know what you think of my little embellishments. Do you prefer the lilac or the green? love them both. Okay guys, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.